It's time for the Taco Truck Roundup, the best show on the internet for getting caught up with what's happening at AppSumo. This week, we're gonna take a look at a couple of different CRMs. We'll learn how to get indexed by Google, and we'll even check out a new AI voice cloning tool that's available for a lifetime deal. Now, before we get into this week's reviews, I need to give a quick shout out to this week's sponsor, AppSumo themselves, because AppSumo has got a special event coming up and I wanna tell you all about it. Mark your calendars for AppSumo's annual plus day. This is going to run from August 14th at noon central time until August 19th at noon central time. This is a special event to celebrate AppSumo Plus members, and there are a bunch of different things going on. First of all, there's gonna be early access to a ton of deals. There's gonna be a few deals that are only available to Plus members, and there's even going to be limited access deals, meaning that there's gonna be a certain number of codes they have, and once those sell out, those tools are gone. So you wanna be a Plus member to get first crack. If you're not already an AppSumo Plus member or you've never even heard of that program, this is a great time to check it out and consider joining. AppSumo Plus members get access to exclusive deals, 10% off of everything they purchase, and they also get a bunch of freebies like access to some AppSumo originals and just a whole host of other goodies throughout the year. AppSumo Plus definitely gets treated like VIP. You even get a longer uh, protection policy. So if you buy a lifetime deal and it goes under, AppSumo Plus members will get all of that money back within the first year. It's almost like an insurance plan that also includes a discount and a bunch of free stuff. It's a no-lose situation if you're an avid AppSumo customer. All right, now let's get to our reviews this week. If you're not familiar with this show, we do bite-sized reviews. I've got a full-length review of every single tool mentioned in this episode. Check the playlist down below. I publish AppSumo reviews every single day of the week, Monday through Friday. Tool number one is called Warp Index. Warp Index is a tool that gets your website indexed by Google by notifying the search engine about changes, updates, and new pages on your site. It will do this automatically every single day, or you can upgrade to a higher tier plan and it will actually do it twice a day. Warp Index integrates with Google Search Console and manages your sitemap. You can even manually add in pages that you want to index or de-index and do that in bulk. I really liked Warp Index for its very fast, easy setup process and clean, simple user interface. The pricing is really affordable compared to competitors at certain price points. I go into great detail in this in the full length video, so definitely check that out if you wanna know, particularly whether to choose Warp Index or URL Monitor. There are some minor UI quirks, but overall, I really liked Warp Index. Now I've mentioned every time I've talked about any tool like this, that there's a lot of free ways to do this if you use WordPress. So definitely check into your SEO plugin before making a purchase, but it's not going to be as simple as a SaaS that's doing a lot of that backend work for you. So 29 bucks for the lowest plan, it still might be worth it for you. If you're not using WordPress, this might be your best option for getting indexed every single day. So in that case, it's definitely worth it. There's a bunch of comments over on the Warp Index video, most of them just positive that they like the video and that they like the tool. Excellent breakdown and full of important information. This was already in my cart, but I was hesitant on purchasing. Now I'm ready. And perfect video. Thanks for the clear video and concise comparison. Then we had a couple other people pointing out that, you know, Yoast SEO does this, Rank Math does this. I'll add in that SEO Press does this as well. So they wanna know kind of what the differences are. I just mentioned that a moment ago and I've covered it in other videos. So the main difference is going to be how many pages you can get indexed with a tool like Warp Index. Your you know, high end I think was 3,600 different pages. And with something like Rank Math, it's going to be 200. So there you go, that's the difference. There was one question that's relevant to address here from Leader Dreams 128 Do they actually fix the URL so that it can be indexed or does it just tell you what to fix? I asked this question of URL Monitor and never got a response. No, it doesn't actually even have access to change anything on your website. So if there was, say, maybe a no index setting on the page, well, the monitoring tool is not going to be able to change that on your website. It would just tell you that, hey, this page is not being indexed and it would be up to you at that point to figure out why. I think the best, most concise way I can describe this tool as well as URL Monitor is that it just acts as an intermediary to refresh Google Search Console as your site changes. So I liked Warp Index quite a bit. I gave it a final score of 7.1 out of 10. Let's move on to our next deal of the week called LaunchPod. 
Launchpod is an AI cloning and podcast creation tool that allows you to create audio content without even needing to record your voice. But you can clone your voice to start. So you, you do the cloning once and then you never have to say anything ever again. I think I need to insert a Rodney Dangerfield style joke here about my wife, but I'm going to refrain from that and instead let's focus on the tool. Okay, so the main features of LaunchPod are kind of threefold. You have the voice cloning technology, then we have a podcast creation, so you can actually get a RSS feed all inside of LaunchPod, and you can also use it to generate audio blogs, so basically like yourself reading your own articles, or you know, you can imagine the use cases there. All right, let's do some pros and cons for this tool. Pros, I really like the idea of this tool. It could be a great time saver for content creators that want to repurpose into different mediums. I also like the RSS feed aspect to it. It was very easy to create an RSS feed. That's really cool. The downside is basically everything else. There's, there's a lot of cons here. First of all, you get very limited credits. So let's say like 15 minutes on the lowest plan, but it's not actually even 15 minutes. It's gonna be more like seven minutes if you wanna use your own voice because they charge you double credits when you use a cloned voice. I also ran into technical issue after technical issue. And on the last audio I tried to produce, it was extremely long processing time. It actually ended up being almost an hour. So I just had to end the video before it got generated. It did eventually generate. We stuck it at the end of the video, I believe. So if you wanna check it out, uh, there is audio examples there, or we could stick a little clip in right here, I suppose. The ever evolving world of search engine optimization, staying visible on Google is crucial for any website success. Enter Warp Index, a powerful tool designed to streamline the process of getting your website indexed by Google. Overall, this is a great concept that is just not quite there yet. I ended up giving LaunchPod a 4.6 out of 10. Next up is NinjaPipe. This is a sales CRM tool. This was a highly requested video. I published a video a few days earlier for Amwork, which we'll talk about momentarily, and almost every single comment on Amwork was saying, hey, review NinjaPipe. I got pretty high hopes for this deal and I was stoked going in. And then I got disappointed. So there's a lot of features here. In fact, that's probably the main issue. There's just too many features. There's AI powered automation, there's form creation, there's invoicing and quoting, but the problem is it's a sales CRM and the sales CRM is just incomplete. Adding leads and tracking leads across your pipeline should be the primary focus. Instead, it's something that you have to do almost entirely manually, and there's actually even no way to tie a lead to a specific card. Now, this video was 40 minutes long, and I just went on and on and pointed out all of the things that I didn't really like. And I honestly feel bad when I make videos like that, but I gotta be honest and report what I'm actually experiencing. I kind of brace for impact when I hit the publish button because I don't really want to hear from the founder about how terrible of a video it was, but I was very impressed when the founder of Ninja Pipe actually commented on the video. Here's what he had to say. I'm gonna read the whole thing because I thought it was a very, very honest response. Hi Dave, founder of Ninja Pipe here. I just watched the entire video and I side with you on everything. I'm going to rewatch this with the team and then make a game plan to resolve all of these within the next two weeks. That would be a huge accomplishment. I fundamentally see an issue with how we agree to too many features, which is bloating the software. I agree. I first am going to cut back on that and focus on building a solid CRM with all of the necessary features that we should have to go shoulder to shoulder with the more popular competitors. That would be amazing. Well, doing that, I'm going to work on simplifying this way more and see how we can get the functionality done at much less effort. We are determined to get this right and that means I have to listen to you and the rest of the community with 10 ears. If you've got 10 ears, we have an AI image generation problem. Uh, thank you again for the honest review and the tough love. I'm going to put my head down and get to work. Much love. So very, very impressive response there because a lot of people are just going to flame me, tell me I am, you know, I suck and all this other stuff that you get as a creator on the internet. Very, very impressed with the founder's response there. So, uh, you know, definitely, definitely appreciate it. However, I will say two weeks to do all of that, uh, that I mean, that's a lot. I, I don't know, maybe you have a big, big enough team to handle it, but um, yeah, I, I would say this is like a six month plan to rebuild this. Uh, so it would be very impressed to accomplish it in under a month. I commented back and I said, you know what, if you can do that, 
I will make another video. I, I almost never make follow-up videos, but I will make another video if they can make the CRM usable because I would love that. I'm not gonna belabor you with any more of the issues I saw on Ninja Drive. I'll just let you know my final score was a 4.1 out of 10 and I'm willing to revisit. All right, our final deal of the week is called Amwork. This was definitely my favorite tool that I reviewed over the last week. This is a versatile CRM slash project management tool that's got these cool customizable modules and the ability to add automations to your workflows. It's really a tool that's kind of in its own category. I mean, there's sure no code builders out there and there's Notion and things like that, but I've never seen one that quite implements it the way Amwork does. So we basically get this workspace builder where we can add things like CRMs, sales pipelines. You can also integrate your email so you can have a shared inbox there. There's chat, there, you know, parts of the chat wasn't great, but overall, like there's a lot of features packed into this small package. So I mentioned some problems with the chat. Uh, I tried to connect it up to Facebook because that's one of the integrations and it didn't quite work for me. I might've done something wrong, I, I don't know, but uh, the integration just seems a little bit buggy through Meta. I think Amwork has a little bit higher of a learning curve than your average AppSumo deal. So definitely watch my video in full length to dig into all of the features and just be patient with yourself as you try to figure out how to set it up for your business because there's probably going to be some experimentation required. Overall, I liked Amwork quite a bit, 7.4 out of 10 for this tool. Definitely go check it out if you're looking for a better way to organize your inbox, a better way to organize your pipeline, or really just any data that you want to give some structure to, I think Amwork is going to be a decent option. All right, that's gonna do it this week. I've got links for all of these tools down below, as well as those full length reviews. Highly recommend checking any of those out before making a substantial purchase. If you use my links, by the way, it helps support this content so I can continue to make these videos. I really appreciate all of the support out there for everybody who has been commenting, liking the video, and then using my links to make a purchase. My name is Dave Swift, by the way, if you don't know who I am, I'm from clientamp.com. This is a website where you can go and get help with your own online business. We've got premium courses. You can work directly with me if you like, or just get signed up for our free email newsletter. It's gonna do it for this week. Make sure you stay tuned. Get subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. We've got more content coming out very, very shortly. So I'll see you in the next review.